We have an iPhone 6 that doesn't power on here. Customer indicated that the phone doesn't power on. Uh, upon inspection, I can see that the phone does power on, but it has a backlight issue. Uh, customer tried to change the screen on the phone, and, and as a result, he blew out the backlight circuit. So uh, let's take a look under the microscope. I just want to quickly look at the backlight filters. So the first thing I want to do is look at a couple of filters that's part of the backlight circuit. Okay, so right off the bat, I see one of them missing right here. So this is one of the main filters that, that passes the backlight onto the FPC connector, which the screen connects to. So the missing filter that we noticed under the microscope is this one here, the FL2024. One end of the filter connects to pin 2 of the FPC connector where the screen connects to, and the other end of the filter, it connects to the three capacitors here, the backlight driver chip, and the diode. This is the backlight driver circuit. This is the chip, the backlight driver chip. These are the three capacitors, one, two, three. So the voltage exiting the backlight driver circuit, it exits through here. So if we search for PPLCM BL anode, we will get to FL2024. Uh, so the voltage coming from the backlight driver circuit must go through the filter onto pin two of the FPC connector which is this one here. If the voltage is not passing through the filter because the filter is missing or it's blown, then, then this is going to be a dead end for the voltage. The voltage is not going to make its way through to pin 2. And if this is 0 volts, then we're not going to have a backlight. Right now, aside from replacing the missing filter, I want to know if there's a short anywhere on the backlight driver circuit. And when I say a short, I mean the three capacitors or the backlight driver chip. So what I will do is test this part of the filter in diode mode. If we have a short anywhere on the backlight driver circuit, then we're going to get a steady beep. If we do not have a short anywhere on the backlight driver circuit, then I can assume that the only problem with the backlight is this missing filter. So if we check the continuity of the path from here up to here, it's continuous. Now what I want to do is I want to test this pin here for short. If we do see a short on this pin, it means one of the capacitors may be short or the backlight driver itself may be bad. So let's put the multimeter in diode mode. Put the red probe on uh, ground and the black probe here. Okay, so we do not have a short. So this tells me that the capacitors are good, the backlight driver is good, and the overall backlight circuit is good. So all we need to do is put back the missing backlight filter and our backlight circuit should complete itself and we should have a uh, working phone.
this is our filter right here let me put it somewhere where I can see it So let's do some testing and see if the filter is, is in place as it should be. We should have a continuous path between this point and the filter. That's good. Okay, so now that our backlight filter is in place, we did test the continuity, everything checks. Now I want to put the battery in, actually I'll put the screen in first. I'll connect the home button as well the battery in and hope for the best so switch the camera and it turns on so the backlight filter the one that was missing was causing the backlight not to work <laughs> 